vision. You started a revolution bringing Fauda to the film festival and now you have two series? I have two series? Yeah, I'm very, first of all, I'm very serious. Very uh, serious. Uh, uh. I'm a very serious person. Uh -huh. But yeah, we, we have two series. This is the first time, honestly. Yeah, and uh, we're very proud uh, to showcase for the first time two series. It's more than we have four. Two from Yes and two from Reshet 13. And, uh, and we have, this is really uh, unusual. Uh, you know, it's like one step up for the festival to, to go into the television very, very world. Cool. So and we have also this year, because of uh, our chairman Adam Berkowitz, uh, when we honored him in March, uh, we got a lot of support from, uh, you know, CBS television and Lionsgate television and Fox television. And I say I'm partners. I mean, it, he really helped us to get, to reach the world of television. So I wanted to continue that. And here we are already with a world premiere of Fauda. And, and, and a, world, a world premiere of Fauda is, is really something. Why? Because just in six months from now, the world will see it. But the people that are coming to our screening tomorrow will be the first one to see it here in Los Angeles. Nobody saw it. Even not in Yes, they didn't see it because they finished their editing last week, in the end of the week. It was not time to even show it to anybody. Maybe a few people saw it. But I think uh, it's really, really exciting. And also uh, this, uh, you know, the Mossad 101, uh, you know, it's really something that I, I cannot even, I couldn't even dream about, that we're going to show television shows and uh, premieres, world premieres of television shows. So I'm very happy. Did it occur to you that already at being an Israeli and you check in someplace to say, oh, you're Israeli, are you Mossad? They've been asking you even the, before this TV show came on to Netflix. And now that people are seeing Mossad on Netflix, are you concerned that people will be more, more suspicious that Israelis outside of Israel might be Mossad agents? Uh, nobody came to me and said, uh, you're a Mossad agent. They asked me if I'm playing in Pugi. <laughs> Not a Mossad agent. But uh, it's, uh, it's uh, no, I don't think that this will create, a, a, you know, I mean, the, the TV show is not running here in the United States. It was bought by Netflix. It's going to run in South America. Yes, yes, in a, in, on Netflix, but I don't think it's going to run in a TV in here in uh, the United States. I'm not sure. I don't know. Netflix is America, so it's going to run on Netflix. So, you know, I cannot tell you that uh, some people will see Israelis and say, are you a Mossad? They say, are you, uh, you've been in the Israeli uh, military or in the IDF? But not, don't go to a Mossad, I don't think so. Do you suppose that now that people are starting to see Israeli series on Netflix, it'll make uh, people more sympathetic to Israel's uh, situation? Uh, I think that Fauda does it. I think Father absolutely does it. Even uh, I know that it was shown in Arab countries, and people really admire the 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 the, the fairness or the, the you know the, the balance between you know Israelis and Arabs. It's very balanced, so it's not political. It's real uh, real situations. So I think uh, people. Uh, respecting that and I think even the Arab world is respecting they don't like what's going on and I understand but uh, you know because they're seeing their their uh, fellow Arabs also getting uh, in trouble yeah yeah absolutely yes is, is it good to uh, create emp empathy or sympathy for the uh, Palestinian cause whatever is right and and, and, and it's it, I, I think it's uh, Absolutely, it's good. I think. I think it's good. Yeah. I th if it's if it's right, it's not just to go, you know, go politically for the Palestinians or go for Israel. It's just to balance and be fair and, and to to do something with a from, with a true message, a true message, accurate message, an accurate message, even better. I mean, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. An accurate message. I think it's, and they will be most, 
sympathetic and also Israelis can will understand and it will be more sympathetic to Palestinians so I think it's right to do that but if Palestinians want to kill Jews is it good to build the uh, say Palestinians not every Palestinian wants to kill Jews there is a situation they are not happy with our, uh, about it we're not happy with you know from the other side but you know we have to resolve the problem but it's already almost past 70 years and we didn't get anywhere yet but hopefully one day I'm trying to help as much as I can from my side I'm doing my part thank you thank you